Good morning. Once again, I am at the funeral of a friend. The deceased is a woman who treated me with great kindness all the time. She was, well, she was just a sweetheart, and I, I liked her a lot. Her husband was a good man, a hard worker. I worked the grain harvest with him one year and got to know him quite well. I liked him and his son. His son is a, uh, well, he serves me well at the post office. And when his grandson, when her grandson, I guess, the grandson of the deceased, became severely ill and no one knew what was going on, I lifted them up in prayer. You see, I care about these people. I care about them a great deal. And yet, Acts 13 tells us that when Paul went into the city, that the religious leaders were so frightened, so fearful of his message that, oh well, these clowns, uh, they got devout men, or devout women of high standing. They got men who were key in the community and got them to say awful things about Paul in an effort to drive them out. And the thing that is important to realize is that nothing shut Paul up. Nothing closed his mouth. Well, I have now been attending the funerals and weddings of friends five years now. I, I go because I want them to know that when I left the church, I didn't leave them. I want them to know that I still care and love them. And so I go, but devout women of high standing and the key men, the Mormon leadership in this area have determined that even though I have never caused a disturbance or never even suggested that I would cause a disturbance at any church event, they have banned me from the properties. And so here I am once again attending a funeral from the curb. But my purpose here is to pray. And I wonder if you will just join me. Dear God, dear God in heaven, we lift up, first of all, the leaders in this place, the leaders that instead of having a biblical discussion, instead of knowing what you have said, they prefer to hate. We, we, we lift them up, God, because in their ignorance, just like the Jews who sent devout women and key men after Paul, they have done the same to me. God, we pray that you will show them the error of their ways, the sinfulness of their nature, and God, let them be drawn to you. We also pray for all the people in this community, in this church, the friends and family of the deceased. Oh God, we, we lift them up. So many of them have been poisoned because they believe the words, that are, the words of, of these devout leaders. They, they believe everything they say. And as such, their hearts are poisoned and their minds are closed to the Word of God. So God, we lift them up to you. We lift them up in prayer, trusting in you to, to draw them near. And now God, as I mingle with these people later today at the cemetery where the leaders of this church cannot stop me, we pray for love. We pray for hearing ears, and, and God, we pray that seeds will be planted. God, this is our prayer. And humbly we petition you on the behalf of these. In Jesus' name, amen.